Hi, I'm Sarah. Hi, I'm Ryan. Since the Black Lives Matter movement was born, there has been an overall misunderstanding of the totality of what it is and why there is a need for it. We asked 10 randomly selected people on campus, what do you think Black Lives Matter is and what are their goals? These are some of their responses. I think it's a movement to counteract the rampant police violence against people in the black community, provide a voice for people who feel silenced or feel marginalized, feel like they don't matter. To me, Black Lives Matter is an empowerment group. It's an activist group to raise awareness of black lives. It's a movement for black people to try to get people to see that their lives matter as well, that they still feel like they're being oppressed and not getting a chance, and to open up everyone's eyes to see what's really going on in this society. Then we asked a few people that are knowledgeable about Black Lives Matter the same question. These are their responses. Black Lives Matter is an ideology, mm -hmm. right? It's an ideology that says that uh, black people in this country, um, and quite frankly around the world, matter. Yeah. For millennia and decades, they've been pushed to the fringes and to the margins. Mm -hmm. So whether we're talking about the institution of education, the institution of capitalism, prison industrial complex, mm -hmm. so forth and so on, People of color, specifically black folks, mm -hmm. right, feel and are left out of opportunity and access to opportunity to better their individual lives as well as to better their communities and the institutions in which they uh, belong to. Mm -hmm. There's also a movement of Black Lives Matter, which speaks to policies, mm -hmm. it speaks to procedures, and it speaks to laws that need to be changed. Black Lives Matter also looks to align itself and be an ally to the LGTB community as well. Mm -hmm. So it's not just about understanding that uh, black folks matter. There are black folks who identify as LGTBQ. Mm -hmm. There are black folks who identify as Christian or Muslim or, or, no, re or no religion at all. Mm -hmm. um, there are black folks who identify as transgender. This movement of Black Lives Matter in, in many ways builds upon the civil rights movement and the pre-civil rights movement of, of decades and millennia past. It is a continuum of black folks saying, hey, we want to be recognized. It's, it's a, a simple way of saying, please, please take your foot off my neck because I can't breathe. Black Lives Matter is not a thing where it's like, like we're, it's belittling some, another or, um, movement. It's something that's so much bigger and it represents a few people that are being like marginalized and um, they're being um, put down because of who they are. It's not a way to put anybody down. I think a lot of times the misconception is that Black Lives Matter is like anti-police or anti-white when that's not the case at all. We're, an we're We believe that all lives matter, but it's in the case where like we're being put in a position where we're constantly being killed for color of our skin and it's evident and it's in a way that it's like far more than other people at different races. So I just want to make sure that it's, like, it's evident. All lives do matter, but Black Lives Matter right now really importantly. Uh, people of color have been informing and educating since the beginning of time so clearly that pedagogy is not working right mm -hmm. so what we need white people to do is to talk to each other we need white people to say you know what maybe we're not looking at this in its totality mm -hmm. maybe we need to really go back and see where we've made some missteps right i think it is up for people to educate themselves mm -hmm. i think it's up to people to examine themselves examine what they believe or what they do not believe and look at what they can do within themselves and then within their families and their communities to go about addressing the larger issue. I would first, I think, ask them if they know what it feels like to go every day without knowing, you know, if your brothers or sisters are gonna be safe walking to school, walking to the bus stop, things like that. Um, do they know what it feels like to get pulled over by the police and automatically be scared? This is what the Black Lives Matter movement is about. I think these conversations have to be raw. Yes. What I think needs to happen is not necessarily the, the language that comes out of your mouth, but the mindset when having the conversation, mm -hmm. right? I think the mindset has to be, there are gonna be some things that are said that I'm not gonna agree with. Mm -hmm. Let me not shut down. Let me actually listen instead of hear and then respond. Be mindful of what I've said and be conscious of also what I did not say. Black Lives Matter was triggered by the unjustified and continuous murders of black people by police officers. Since its creation, it has evolved to advocate for the unjust treatment of marginalized people or minorities. It goes beyond the unjustified killings and calls for social change at all levels to eradicate the pervasive racism that is systematically embedded in our society. 
Based off of our interviews, we found that people understood what triggered the movement, but they did not understand what it stands for in its entirety. When approaching these conversations, be ready to step outside your comfort zone and keep an open mind. Be sure to be respectful, ready to listen to each other's truths, and in some instances, be ready to accept that they may not be able to see the truth of this conspiracy right away. If Black Lives Matter is going to be successful, then we need to get engaged and learn how to have difficult conversations about the truth of systematic oppression.